So I'm smoking a cigarette right now by when I'm as I'm recording this. And I want to keep this brief. But I'm going to say something. Um, two things. I've been recording things in Phoenix, Arizona. You'll just have to wait and see what it is once I upload it. Whenever I feel like I should. I've been taking it easy due to extreme high levels of anxiety, but I intend to bring reality to you. So, with that said, um, I I've noticed a lot of people like have all this opinionism. <laughs> There's no such thing as opinionism, it's opinions, but like I I'm calling it opinionism because it's annoying. Um, I don't know what happened to nuance. It really bothers me. I'm expected to either be for Ukraine or for uh, for Ukraine or for the U.S. and NATO, or I'm expected to be for Russia, or I'm expected to be completely neutral. No, I am very nuanced here. I do not support Russia's invasion into the Ukraine. I do not support NATO or the United States. I'm definitely opposed to the Azov Battalion, and I do have sympathy for Russia. Not support, sympathy, and I particularly have sympathy for the Russian-speaking Ukrainians. And to clarify also, the only thing in here that I support is what is never mentioned, and that's the anarchists, Revdia, the anarchists in Ukraine. And as far as Ukrainian nationality is concerned, I've never really recognized it. Why should I? Most Ukrainians don't recognize Jewish nationality because nobody seems to know that diaspora nationality is a real thing. But whatever. Um, that's all I have to say. I will upload Democracy Now! if I see fit. I will upload Al Jazeera if I see fit. In any direction, I see fit. Because unlike a lot of you fucking losers, I have something called discernment. Anyway. As I said before. Uh, maybe I should give some explanation. I said before, all solidarity to Marie, as that's the Black Internationalist. And I say that because that is the best in theory and praxis that I've ever seen on YouTube. And YouTube sucks. But, uh, but like, if you want to see what a Marxist-Leninist Maoist should be, she's it. As far as networks go, I support Jason Unruh, Luke Dublin, Stone Soviet, Falcone, all them. I support that, as far as a network goes. I do hope that that network thrives. I hope that it actually builds up a network, because, you know, it'd be nice if I didn't feel compelled, for instance, to upload Democracy Now! or Al Jazeera or The Grey Zone. It would be nice to not have to resort to that. That's why I really, really, really miss RT. Yes, Russia has an agenda. Don't think it doesn't. But, as somebody who's seen the actual civil society of Russia before, I think I should point out they, they have had the freest press literally in the world. So long as you didn't criticize Putin. I mean, that was always that catch. Now, I have some friends who are very well connected to Russia, and they say that that free press is disappearing. And I would say, of course it is. Everything that took a centrist position for whatever tactical reasons they did, is disappearing. It's all disappearing. Everything that takes a centrist position eventually goes completely far right. This is going to happen to the gray zone. This is already happening to democracy now. This is um, definitely happening in Al Jazeera, you know, in certain instances. Um, I mean, but that was always a problem with Al Jazeera. Um, the real news network is not immune either. This is why I support far left press. Because most of you fuckers don't have discernment. <laughs>